Now we move into an international break, and of course, all eyes for us are on the Socceroos. Former Socceroos just uh, was kind enough to get off the beach and join us on the Gagan Pod today. He's over in Trinidad, Mark Schwarzer. Schwartzy, plenty of news coming out of Socceroos camp. Of course, there's been changes to the squad due to COVID. Our own manager, Graham Arnold, got pinned with something as well. He's been fined this morning. What have you made of the recent squad selections in the Socceroos? Are you confident going into Thursday night? Um, am I confident? Um, I, I'm, I'm a bit concerned. I just am because I think uh, the momentum's been lost. Obviously, they seem to be down on confidence. Um, and I think Japan will know how to get a result. And I think because the Socceroos need to win. Listen, obviously, I hope the Socceroos win. I, I, I hope that they can get that win, the vital win. Because if they do, I think Saudi Arabia will win their game. And they'll already be assured qualification and therefore potentially would switch off a little bit and allow uh, an opportunity for the Socceroos. But yeah, obviously the, the big game against Japan. I, li- I think he's picked a squad of, of a mixture of obviously new new players, um, but also players that are in form, which is important, and also players that have been there for a number of uh, years now under Graham Arnold. So he's obviously gone for that continuity as well, but possibly the surprise element. Tommy, I want to come back to you on a player that you you would know a thing or two about Bruno Fornaroli, former Melbourne City striker, currently playing with Perth Glory, was called up to the Socceroos, which is amazing. It's uh, he's set to make his first international appearance, and I spoke to him yesterday, and he's smiling from ear to ear. He's absolutely glowing with this selection. But I don't know, maybe maybe unfortunately, it's been one of the most controversial call ups in recent history to the Socceroos. Been met with a little bit of criticism um, by some people. I think really saying that calling up a 34 year old striker is is a uh, is saying something about our ability. To to develop our own strikers, Tommy. Do you see it like that, or do you think this is something that should be celebrated? You know, I, I think uh, the passion he has shown. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a good friend of his, and, and I was the first one to, to text him, and, and uh, just the excitement I got back from him. Um, you know, he's proud uh, to be part of this Socceroos squad, uh, and he's proud Australian. So I think, first of all, that settles the argument: should he be in or not? But you know, this is a must-win game. And uh, you need experience, and you need the X factor. So, so he's not. You know, we can all agree he's not a long-term fix for anything. But, but short-term, he can offer the Socceroos something different. Um, you know, he's shown that. Um, you know, wherever he's gone in the A League, uh, you know, he's got free kicks. Uh, you know, he, he can score unbelievable goals. So I think. You know, just for that, you, you need him to pot- potentially come on as a, as a joker sometime in, in the game, um, you know, if you need that little bit extra. So I think it's a good selection. Um, yes, will it be a long-term thing? And, you know, uh, no, for sure not. But uh, right now, good, good selection in my eyes. I don't think it matters how old he is. No, no. I honestly mm-hmm. don't. All, all it is is about getting us straight to the World Cup. Yeah. So yeah. if this is his only foray with the, with the national team, so be it. But... If he comes in and makes an impact, then I think that it won't be his last appearance because the World Cup's only around the corner. So uh, for me, it's about picking your strongest possible side to get Australia to the World Cup where we're coming down into a position where we're, you know, I suppose saying desperate is always sounding quite extreme, but I think we're getting there. You know, we, we don't want to go through the playoffs um, system. You certainly don't want to be playing against fifth place in South America, albeit one-off games. But um, listen, I think if... Um, if it uh, doesn't matter how, some, how, old, how old someone is, if they can help the Socceroos qualify directly for the World Cup, go yeah, for it. And if you can get any form of extra little bit of help, like Swartzy and Thomas have been saying, a man that's in form can potentially get nick a goal, do some damage, can give Australia and the Socceroos that extra little 1% or 2% on the field or something that he can. we know he's capable of doing because we see it, then why not? I remember Jack, Jack Charlton when he did it with the, the Irish team. And he completely transformed. He totally went left field and was trying all sorts to get players in that were somehow affiliated with a passport for that country. And it worked wonders for them. So, listen, let's give it a go. I'm, I'm a big fan of Fauna Rollies. I like what he's all about. And especially when he's... I, I always have a look at him before pre-season. I don't know if you agree with this. Tommy always looks like he's just carrying a little bit. He seems to enjoy himself off the field. But then as soon as pre-season <laughs> comes in the first game of the season, once he gets in his stride, he's absolutely brilliant. Big fan. Uh, he loves his asado, Bridget. So, Tommy, you got a couple. <laughs> he loves his meat. So that's why. <laughs> <laughs> he loves his meat. There you go. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? There's so much more. So why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.